The C-SPAN networks bring you long-form public affairs programming from the nation's capital and are a public service of your television provider. C-SPAN, created by cable. The fourth challenge is to take back our streets from crime, gangs, and drugs. And we have actually been making progress on this count as a nation because of what local law enforcement officials are doing, because of what citizens and neighborhood patrols are doing. We're making some progress. Much of it is related to the initiative called community policing because we have finally gotten more police officers on the street. That was one of the goals that the president had when he pushed the crime bill that was passed in 1994. He promised 100,000 police. We're moving in that direction, but we can see it already makes a difference because if we have more police interacting with people, having them on the streets, we can prevent crimes. We can prevent petty crimes from turning into something worse. But we also have to have an organized effort against gangs, just as in a previous generation we had an organized effort against the mob. We need to take these people on. They are often connected to big drug cartels. They are not just gangs of kids anymore. They are often the kinds of kids that are called super predators. No conscience, no empathy. We can talk about why they ended up that way, but first we have to bring them to heel. And the president has asked the FBI to launch a very concerted effort against gangs everywhere. In addition to that, he has appointed a new drug czar. You probably saw him Tuesday night. He's one of the most distinguished, uh, active military generals that we have in our country. He's already proven that he knows how to interdict drugs because of his command of the uh, South American uh, activity on behalf of the United States. But General McCaffrey will make a big difference. And I believe it is now time for all of us to know what we can do individually to be part of this anti-crime, anti-gangs, anti-drug effort. The fifth challenge is to protect the environment.